we're back. What's up, everybody? It's the realist, your boy, Stefan. You know, the hanger Stefan, that dude who talks about caring about each other and also showing streetwear. What is with this guy? I don't know. I'm just uncontrollable. You cannot control me. People have tried, but I just have to investigate. I have to overthink things. So if you guys are into overthinking, this is definitely a channel for you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. We got an item from Noah. We got a sticker. Yeah, pretty dope. Noah New York City is super awesome because they are thinking about sustainability lately I've really been focusing a lot of my funds towards those more sustainable brands it's not as popular yet but it's really gaining ground New Balance also is another solid option and with New Balance actually anything that sells out they are going to restock unless it was a collab or something a lot of those ones they won't restock that is one cool thing about their items you don't have to be worried about like never getting something you can just wait for it to restock potentially I've been wearing actually my Yeezy mobs like crazy Crazy, a bunch. I mean, not for work or anything. I have a huge line of shoes I wear at work. Maybe one of these days I'll have to do a review of how those work shoes have worked out. But anyways, let's look at the sticker tag on this Noah size large T. I am six foot one inch, about 140 pounds. So this size large might be perfect for me or it might be a little bit oversized. It just depends on how the sizing went. This particular Noah shirt was a collab with B52, a really amazing band from the 1970s, late 70s. They were all about people being themselves you know me I really want people to be themselves and to just use their their talents and abilities to uh, help the communities there's that tag on the back of the neck made sustainably in Honduras there we go they're making sure those factory workers are taken care of that uh, nobody is mistreated and that is something I can definitely get behind so on the back we have our b52 everywhere some crazy colors and then we have our really cool Noah slash b52 drawing on here b52 52 is all about, like I said, just going after it and being yourself. And so they took some vibes from, from that group what they like. <laughs> Their music, if you listen to it, you're literally listening to life experiences, wearing a wig or cooking lobster. It's so funny. I love their songs. And yeah, when I saw that Noah was dropped, I've been following, you know, all this different streetwear drops. I haven't gotten anything from Noah yet. I've just been waiting. A few of their things I really liked, but then they sold out. Um, but anyways, B52, I was really excited about. And so when it did drop, I was right away clicking on there. And it looks like we have a little bit of a yellow stain on the white right there. I'm also very glad I did go with a size large because it looks like this size large just like a standard size large Which is the same as this dime shirt this dime shirt right now This is a size large I'm wearing it is a tiny bit oversized sort of like supreme or palace But let's check out this Noah shirt and uh, see how it fits. All right, yeah, so this shirt actually does fit like a regular size large. It has that length to it and everything. That dime shirt maybe was a little bit shorter than a size large maybe would be. But yeah, this is more of a standard size large, United States standard size large. Not really oversized at all. Sleeve length is like a normal large. I mean, yeah, I can't get any more basic than this. And there's the back of it for everybody. Wants to see that B-52 just all over the place. Bunch of different directions. I don't know how well it goes with these CE shorts, but uh, anyways, Eric Emanuel is dropping his post office shorts, which are super dope. I cannot wait for those. And he did say he would hook me up with a pair. So I'm really crossing my fingers, hoping that he can follow through with that. That would be so amazing. That dude has really been killing it with the fire shorts. I cannot stop grabbing them. I have another pair on the way that uh, I was able to grab from a reseller. I just can't get through to grab them at drop time. It's just so difficult. I really need to be on a computer, but I'm just at work every day at the United States Postal Service and I'm walking like crazy. And so I'm clicking as fast as I can with my fingers and everything, but I don't always get everything I want. And that's okay, you know? We can be after these cool hype items and if we don't get anything that's all right, there's always another item coming out in the future. Don't need to get too hung up about it. But anyways, I am gonna shoot some positivity at you guys. Just a really simple quote from Socrates. The unexplained life is not worth living. That quote just really hits me hard. So many people are living the way other people have always told them to live. Like when you're a child, your parents tell you this is how you should live, this is how you should be, and so you be like your parents tell you. As you grow up, some people learn to really be themselves open up and just live free and all that. But then a vast majority, especially in America, I'm sure in other countries it's a big deal too, but we fall into this stagnant way of living where we just do what other people tell us, whatever you know they tell us and actually works. Without failure, we just keep on doing those same exact 
things and I got caught up in that rat race just trying to please people but now I'm being myself I've always had this artist inside of me that's wanted to come out and uh, this channel is helping me do that a little bit I can show you guys the different hype items that I definitely enjoy and then every so often I'll give you a little taste of my artwork what I could potentially give to the world but yeah we really need to look inward at ourselves and just examine ourselves because if we don't take the time to do that like Socrates says it's hardly worth living I mean who are you really living for? And that's a question only each of us can answer for ourselves. This is gonna be different for every single person. But anyways, I hope that was helpful for some people out there. I can literally not believe the Clippers just lost last night. I mean, seriously. <laughs> So do we give the trophy to the Lakers now or do the Nuggets have, I mean, jaw kicks? Jaw kicks might like destroy and not let himself give up his first potential championship because that team, the Nuggets are just, I mean, maybe I should have worn my Nuggets outfit for this video, but oh my goodness. Anyways, I don't want to claim to know a ton about basketball, so I'm not going to get into it deep. I've spent most of my time researching and studying hours upon hours, philosophy and theology, so... Yeah, uh, if you got a question about that kind of stuff, I mean, sweet, hit me up. I'm gonna go hang out with my bae. In the meantime, be yourself and uh, see you around. Peace.